Hey everyone! If you've ever wondered what is Git and what's GitHub, you're in the right place. Today I'm breaking it down step by step with zero jargon. Let's go! So imagine you're working on a big school project, maybe writing an essay or building an app with friends. You save version after version final dot dot comma final underscore final dot dot comma really dash final dash this dash time dot dot sound familiar? This is where Git comes in. Git is a tool that helps you track every change you make to your files. It's like a magical undo button, but way more powerful. Created by Linus Torvalds, the same person behind Linux, Git lets you create snapshots of your project at any point. So if you mess up, you can jump back in time. Now what about GitHub? Think of GitHub as a social network for code. It's a website where you can store your Git projects online, share them with others, and even work together from anywhere in the world. Let's break down how it works, step by step. First, you have your computer, where you write your code or take notes. With Git, you save versions locally, just for you. But when you use GitHub, you push those versions to the cloud. That means your project is safe if your laptop crashes, and you can invite friends or classmates to help you out. Collaboration is where things get fun. On GitHub, you can create something called a repository, which is just a fancy word for a project folder. Others can see your work, suggest changes, or even make their own improvements. Let's say your friend spots a typo in your program. They can suggest a fix, and you get to decide if you want to accept it. This is called a pull request. It's teamwork without the chaos of emailing files back and forth. Git and GitHub aren't just for coders. Writers, designers, students, anyone can use them to organize projects, track progress, and collaborate smoothly. Plus, learning Git and GitHub makes you stand out. Trust me, it's a skill employers love to see. To recap, Git helps you save versions of your work. GitHub lets you store, share, and work together online. Together, they're like superpowers for your projects. If you want to learn more or get started, check the description. I've dropped some beginner-friendly resources just for you. Thanks for watching and happy creating.